Watch it, guys. You don't need an antivirus. According to this person and many others on the internet, they will tell you you don't need an antivirus program. And I'm lying to you guys. So please explain how you can use your computer every day without an antivirus program or even Microsoft Defender. Now, we're not talking about people that have got Microsoft uh, Windows Defender installed on their system. This will keep you safe to a degree, and it is a antivirus program. We're talking about people that completely uninstall Microsoft Windows Defender and also don't have any sort of other protection on their computer. This is, of course, absolutely ridiculous. And people that actually go around spreading this sort of misinformation and telling people that you don't need any sort of protection on the internet. It's absolutely ridiculous. And we're going to go through and talk about why you do need an antivirus software, whether it'll be Windows Defender or whether it'll be some other free option available for party software or even paid antivirus software. We're going to go through all of that in this video. But before we do that, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro OEM key to activate your version of Windows, then check out CD Key Sales website. I'll leave the link in the video description. You can click on those links and it will take you straight to this location here. You can create an account and once you're happy, click the buy now button and use my promo code capital B capital R. 09 and apply this to your order and you will get a juicy 30% discount on all of your purchases on CD Key Sales website. Once you've done this, submit your order and you can pay by PayPal if you wish. Once they've done that, they will send you the key and you can then activate your version of Windows. Now, I've seen tons of comments on my videos about people saying you don't need an antivirus software. You don't need Windows Defender and you don't need any sort of third party antivirus software installed on your computer in 2023. And they've been using their computer for many years without an antivirus program and they've never got infected. What they don't realize is they're talking about just themselves. They're not talking about the majority of people that are using computers that are not tech savvy and they're not clued up. So when someone says they don't need an antivirus program, or they don't need Windows Defender either, and they've removed it from their computer and they've never got infected, then how would you know? Because it's not being detected because you don't have anything on your system to detect uh, those nasty files that you may have downloaded, that program you downloaded, that website you visited, or that link you clicked on, and all of these uh, scenarios. There's many more. So let's first get back to why you would need an antivirus program, because in the first line of defense would it would detect a lot of this stuff and it would scan it as it's coming down onto your computer. And then, of course, it will alert you that there is malware on that file or malware on that site and it will block it. And that is important for you to stay safe when you're surfing the web. So how would you know that website was safe that you visited even? Uh, it could have been hacked or breached by some sort of hacker and a piece of small code was added to that website uh, because it was hacked. And now you're going to go onto that website and it will redirect you or do whatever it was going to do. And it can cause you a lot of problems and you wouldn't even be any other wiser. So what is the best antivirus program to use? Well, with a bit of common sense, you can use pretty much any sort of antivirus program that you want. So choose the one you like. And you can either go down the free route or you can go down the paid route, whatever you want, whatever features you need, you can choose which one suits you. So, for instance, on the AV test report here, you can see against protected against zero day malware attacks, we have 99.4%, 98.9%, and 98.3% on this ESET. And this was between January and February. And again, uh, detection against widespread prevention, it was 100% protection. So they're all within 0.5, as you can see here. So, and this will change from week to week, from month to month. They will do these tests. And again, the test results will be different because software changes. They constantly change in their software to protect you. So one time you might see 5.5 and then the next time you might see six. And this is exactly what the antivirus industry is about. And they all have different uh, features built into these antivirus software. Some are more bloated than others. So choose which one suits you and use it. 
So I use ESET on my system, as you know from uh, yesterday, I did a video. And again, if you have no antivirus program and you click on a file and you don't know that file is malicious, guess what can happen? You can get all your data encrypted by ransomware. How would you know that was a ransomware file? Maybe it slipped on onto your computer, you downloaded something, you click on it, and lo and behold, you've now been infected and encrypted by ransomware. It could be any type of ransomware, and sometimes you can't get your data back because you're now held to ransom by some hacker. And this is the problem. You could have clicked on a link in your email. You could have clicked and opened an attachment in an email. You could have downloaded a file from the internet. You would never know what is inside there because you can't scan it, and your system is not scanning it as it comes down. So people that say these stupid things are complete blithering idiots. They really are. So why you still need an antivirus is every day new malware and other online threats emerge. In fact, the AV Test Institute registers over 350 new pieces of malware and potentially unwanted applications every single day. And that is a fact. You can go and look that up on their website. And this means that every single day we're getting large volumes of new malware being released onto the internet. And without protection, you are going to be vulnerable. Now, some viruses are meant only to cause damage like ransomware, and they will encrypt all of your data. You've got other ones, which is you run the risk of losing your sensitive information, which is really sophisticated viruses and malware, which will basically steal your passwords, your username, your banking details and finances and things like that. So these are the sort of risks that you're running. The other risk is taking control of your computer. So you download a file, click on it, and now the uh, hacker will have control of your computer and come into your computer whenever they like. They can even lock you out of your computer. So without good quality antivirus software like ESET, Bitdefender, and Kaspersky, programs like these, these will keep you protected. Now, which one is the best is entirely up to you. And when I put a thumbnail up is the best and I put question marks, that means I'm asking the question, which is the best? It's going to be the best for you, which suits your pocket. There's even free versions out there that you can use as well. So it really doesn't matter what one you use. Use the one that suits your requirements, which has all the features that you want on an antivirus program, and then use it. And it will protect you from this sort of nasty stuff that you're going to get on the internet. So there's your answer. You do still need antivirus software in 2023, and you're going to probably need it for the foreseeable future as well. Now, if you want to use Windows Defender, by all means, do so. Windows Defender is okay. It's not the best, but you're going to need a bit more common sense when it comes to uh, using Windows Defender compared to some of these other ones out there on the market. Anyway, I hope this answers you all your questions. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Hopefully, I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely weekend and enjoy the weather, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.